everyone, this is Ekalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from partial fractions. So let's get started. Problem, resolve. 7x minus 1 by 1 minus 5x plus 6x square into partial fraction. So we are given a fraction. 7x minus 1 by 1 minus 5x plus 6x square. So you could write it as 7x minus 1 by 6x square minus 5x plus 1. Okay. Let's consider it as p of x by q of x. Here you are having p of x equals to 7x minus 1. Okay. So here the degree of this polynomial which is linear is 1 and you are having q of x equals to 6x squared minus 5x plus 1. The degree of this quadratic polynomial is 2. So it is clear that degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. Okay, since degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x, we can say that the given fraction is a proper fraction. Okay, so we are given a proper fraction. So now, we will take this denominator. We will factorize the quadratic polynomial here. Guys, to split minus 5x, firstly consider the polynomial of degree 2. That is quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c. Now compare both the polynomials and write the values of a, b, c. We have a equals to 6, b equals to minus 5, c equals to 1, a into c equals to 6 into 1 is 6 and b equals to 5, 2, 3 is a 6 but 2 plus 3 is 5, we need minus 5 right? So let's take minus 2 into minus 3, minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6, minus 2 minus 3 equals to minus 5 which is correct. Minus 5. Now we'll split minus 5x using factors of the quadratic taking polynomial. Minus 3x minus 2x. We'll split minus 5x by minus 3x and minus 2x plus 1. Now take 3x common from these two terms. You'll have 3x into 3 twos are 6 to x. 3 2 is a 6, x into x, x squared minus 1, minus of 2x minus 1. Simply we are taking minus common from the next two terms. So this equals to 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1. So the factors of this polynomial is 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1. So you would write it as 7x minus 1 by... 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1. Okay. Fine. Solution. Given proper fraction is Seven x minus one by one minus five x plus six x square. Here you could write this, and finally you are having this right. The given fraction. can be written as 
seven x minus one by six x squared minus five x plus one equals to seven x minus one by two x minus one into three x minus one. Okay. Let seven x minus one by 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1 equals to here you have a linear polynomials right product of linear polynomials so for 2x minus 1 you'll have a by 2x minus 1 only one fraction and for 3x minus 1 you'll have one fraction So let's take it as one. So you would write it as seven x minus one by two x minus one into three x minus one equals to a into three x minus one plus b into two x minus one by LCM of 2x minus 1 and 3x minus 1 is 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1. So here you can cancel the denominators and you'll get 7x minus 1 equals to a into 3x minus 1 plus b into 2x minus 1. I take 3x minus 1 equals to 0. Let consider as equation 2. Let 3x minus 1 equals to 0 then. 3x equals to 1, then you'll have x equals to 1 by 3. Now put x equals to 1 by 3 in 2. Then 2 becomes, or from 2, simply put x equals to 1 by 3. 7 into 1 by 3 minus 1 equals to a into 3 into 1 by 3 minus 1 plus b into 2 into 1 by 3 minus 1. Okay. We get 7 by 3 minus 1 equals to a into 3 3 gets cancelled. So you'll have 1 minus 1 plus b into 2 by 3 minus 1. Since 1 minus 1 is 0, so total term becomes 0. And this will have 7 minus 3 by 3 equals to 0 plus b into 2 minus 3 by 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. We we'll have 4 by 3 equals to b into minus 1 by 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Now cancel 3 here. We will get b equals to minus 4. So therefore, b equals to minus 4. Okay. Now, let 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Then 2x equals to 1, then x equals to 1 by 2. Now put x equals to 1 by 2 in 2. I get 
7 into 1 by 2 minus 1 equals to a into 3 into 1 by 2 minus 1 plus b into 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1. Okay. So here 2 2 gets cancelled. Fine. You'll have 7 by 2 minus 1 equals to a into 3 by 2 minus 1 plus b into 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so total bit of becomes 0. So this becomes 7 minus 2 by 2 equals to a into 3 minus 2 by 2. We'll get 5 by 2 equals to a into 3 minus 2 is 1 by 2. Now cancel this 2, you'll have 5 equals to a, therefore a equals to 5. Now we are having the values of unknowns. So now we can substitute the unknown values in equation 1. Substitute a, b values in 1. Okay. Then 1 becomes 7x minus 1 by 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1 equals to a. That is 5 by 2x minus 1 plus b. You are having minus 4 as your b by 3x minus 1. So you could write it as 7x minus 1 by 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1 equals to 5 by 2x minus 1 minus 4 by 3x minus 1. Okay. So therefore, 7x minus 1 by 1 minus 5x plus 6x squared is equals to 5 by 2x minus 1 minus 4 by 3x minus 1. So this number is a problem. So we have seen a problem from partial fractions in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.